And while there's been a lot of talk about the adoption of solar, there really hasn't been as much focus on what happens when all those panels age out. Kelsey Thord looks at the push to make sure that they stay green all the way through their life cycle. When most people think of solar power, they think of clean energy, an alternative option that's friendlier to the environment. But what most people don't know is that at the end of the day, a majority of solar panels end up in landfills. The number of solar panels that are being dumped right now are in the, I would say, close to about maybe 100,000 panels a month. I mean, there's a lot of panels out there that are just being dumped. Eddie Anamdar is trying to change that. His recycling company in Union City has been accepting solar panels for years. But he says they're only getting a fraction of the solar panels out there because instead of paying people to recycle the panels, they're forced to charge them. If you had 10 solar panels that weighed 50 pounds each, that's 500 pounds, you would end up paying me 250 bucks or $300 to recycle them. The reason is solar panels are considered to be a form of hazardous waste, meaning it's harder to recycle them. California Assembly member Chris Ward wants to make it easier. He's filed a bill that would create a statewide program for solar panel recycling. We want to make sure that a program is in place that helps to streamline all of the necessary decommissioning um, steps and, and is able to really point and train the, um, the parts and the, the recycling of, of components in a more cost-effective way. The assembly member says the program would hopefully launch in the next few years. If it does, it would come at a time when the state is seeing not only an increase in residential solar, but commercial, like this 60-acre solar farm operated by MCE in Richmond. You know, not only is this site providing non-polluting electricity to the surrounding homes and businesses, it also created a lot of jobs for um, local residents and people in the area. Companies like MCE are actively opening dozens of solar farms across the state. That means thousands of additional panels that will eventually need to be recycled. Eddie says he's prepared for that increase, but just needs help from the state to motivate these companies and people to actually recycle. Create incentive. Don't make it too vague. Keep it nice and simple and uh, create incentive. That takes care of the laziness part, you know. Eddie suggests one of those incentives in the state's proposed program be a cash payout. Assemblymember Ward says the specifics of the program will be created only after his bill is passed. So as Kelsey tells us, solar panels have a lifespan of about 25 to 30 years. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that the U.S. will accumulate as much as a million tons of solar power waste by the year 2030.